Hey everybody, welcome to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. Glad to be back with you. Uh, I was gonna get with y'all today and see, this garden's been coming in. And so we have, uh, I have definitely been busy doing a lot of canning and stuff. Um, you, when the garden's coming in, ain't no waiting, right? You gotta get it done. And so what I thought I might show y'all today real quick is, um, uh, I, I know some people don't, or a lot of people don't, but a lot of people do, like okra. And uh, one of my favorite things is fried okra. So I love it when our okra's coming in, and I put it up in the freezer so that I can have fried okra all through the year. And it's really easy, y'all. You know, just get past the slime, okay? You know, you just got to get past it. There's no way of getting around it, okay? Just work around it or whatever. Work away from it ignore it but um what i've done today what i'm on here i'm getting my water boiling so what i want y'all to see is i've just got it in my sink in here and i and i've washed it off and see and i've got my pods here boy these would be so good pickled these little ones like this buzz picks them for me a uh, little because i like them little because they're tender right but anyway what i'm doing is i'm going ahead see and i'm cutting them up for frying size and, uh, y'all, there's just so much you can do with okra. I mean, it, it really, you can. Let me turn that up just a little bit. Surely we can share a little bit of my head and the sink. When you're short, that works out pretty good, right? Okay, anyway, but I just hold it by this, hold it by the little pointy end. And I've washed them off good, though, y'all, okay? I've washed them off good. But anyway, I just cut the cap off, and then you just cut it up in bite-sized pieces and toss the little pointy in. So see, I just cut the cap off and go down through there and slice them. It's it's that simple. They're washed and uh, I mean, I just got them in this water. I washed them off really good from coming out of the garden and that's all I'm going to do is cut them up in these bite-sized pieces for frying. They don't have to be just for frying. We like okra and tomatoes. Cook that up with some uh, Tony Saturies in there, you know, and, and I like to do some bacon and onion in mine. And then uh, serve that over some uh, a bed of rice. Woo, goodness, y'all. That's some good stuff. It's some home cooking's what it is. Definitely. Now, I understand why people don't like okra. I really do. But I tell you what, if, if you love it, you love it. And, and you can pickle it, you can stew it. Oh, it's so good in soups. Uh, in the wintertime when I'm making my vegetable soup, uh, out of all the stuff from the garden, I will definitely put me some okra bites in there. But you do that right at the end because it'll cook away. It's one of those things where you just put it in right at the end. And especially since I've already frozen it because uh, we're going to blanch it today. You have to blanch it, which is nothing but changing the temperature of it. That's all you're doing. You're not wanting to cook it. You know how you get your vegetables in the freezer section at the store? And they're, you know, they're raw to you. Well, they are because uh, they haven't been cooked. They've just been blanched. Let me get a towel here. They've just been blanched, okay? And that keeps them to where when you get ready to cook them, that they, that they um, have that fresh taste like they were picked, you know, just picked like and everything. So see, I have a nice little tub of them, and my water is boiling. I'm going to see if I can just walk y'all up. Let me see if I can do this. It might let me do it so I don't have to do all that other stuff. Okay, so my water is boiling, and I have nothing in there but my boiling water, okay? And I'm just going to take this. Dump it in there. Do it carefully because like I just splashed hot water on my face. And it does not take it but just a few minutes, y'all. And how you'll know is the color will change in it. Um, it will change to that bright, pretty color that you see when you get them in the store, uh, in the freezer section like that. It, it, it takes them just to that. Now this, because it's okra, it's gonna slime up in there in that pot. I still have to take y'all off of there for this. Um, let me see if I can get you over here. See, it's it's already turning a darker 
it's getting darker and it i mean it's almost ready it's almost ready just like that when you drop it in this hot hot boiling water and it changes the temperature of it you get it out of there right then that's what you do and so we're going to get it out of there it's look at that see how dark green it is now see that's how it looks when you get it in the store just like that you see it's that simple y'all you put you back up here and i'll show you how i'm gonna do this see if i can get it on that clip okay all right um all right i'll take you back over here do that real quick so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna get my colander and uh i'm gonna pour out the slimy okra in there I mean, just like that. See how simple that was? So now we want to shut down the cooking. We don't want it to cook. So I'm just going to dump it out of there. And I'm going to put this cold water on it and start rinsing it. Matter of fact, I'm going to save some of it out uh, for tonight for Buzz and I. Well, I may save some of this. I've got another batch over there. I'll just do that. And this way I can show y'all what I do from here. Get it cooled off. And don't worry about this slime being on it. If there, you know, if you go to, I mean, it's got slime on it, but I'm rinsing it. And that gets a whole lot of it off. Uh, it, it rinses on out through your colander. I mean, when you disturb it, it's going to make that slime. It's just what it does. But when they're fried up, you ain't got no slime in it. That's where a lot of people do like fried okra, where they don't like any kind of stew or whatever and stuff. And like I say, I get I get that. So. All right, let me move my old hot pot out of the way here. And all I'm going to do now is take this cookie sheet. Take me a cookie sheet. I'm trying to set it where y'all can. Y'all still can't see it there. I'll put it there. Okay, okay, y'all can see that good enough. I'm just going to take this okra, and I'm just going to pick it up like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to just spread it out on this cookie sheet. Okay? Spread it out. Like this. If you, once you spread it out like this, and then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to set that pan in the freezer, okay? Wash the slime off my hands. It does feel icky. It seems to me like you could make some kind of glue with that stuff. I bet somebody probably did it sometime back in the day. I bet they made use for that stuff. All right. See? Look at it. Okay, there it is. Now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it in my freezer. And I'm going to let it freeze rock solid in there, right? Then I will get this pan out and I'll just slap it, you know, slap it on the counter like that. And it'll break all up. And uh, and it don't matter if it breaks up in kind of some pieces of it break up like in a little sheet. Don't worry about that because you'll be able to get it apart when you get ready to cook it. But just try to break it up a little bit and... Put it in your gallon bag, gallon Ziploc bag, zip it up, and put it back in the freezer. And you can reach in that bag and get out however much of it you want. It makes it to where you can get as much as you want or as less as you want with it like that. But that's how you do your okra for the freezer. Y'all give it a try if you go get you some okra from somewhere. All right. Good luck with that. And, uh... We'll be back. I've got a lot of other things I want to do tonight. I'm on a cooking spree today. Today I have peeled my little uh, new potatoes. And I'm going to, I saved a couple so I could <clears throat> show people how I slice them when I do them and stuff. But um, I just got them sitting in water for now because I'm not going to do this till later on. But uh, we're going to make these in a cream sauce. Show people how to make them in a cream sauce with the little chunks of potato bites in there and that cream sauce. It's really good, y'all, but we'll do that later on tonight. So good luck with your okra, and uh, 
give it a try and let me know how it worked for you. It's, it's a good idea to have it, you know, and if you love okra, it's worthy of doing it. It was that easy and that fast. In the Kitchen with Tally Faye.